I'm walking into a dump where I've been digging as soon as I got out on the road. Well, it's early. It's only like 9.30. But I could have been here a couple hours ago digging. Sprinkling now. Real crappy looking, but we'll see what I can get. See what I can get. Well, you can see what I've done here. What I'm going to do now, there's a honey hole right in there, so I'm going to take this off. Start pulling it back behind me and get real slow with my face right down to here. Take that cap off that bottle for sure. Throw it over there. I got a lot of bottles to take again. I'm going to have to go up to my truck and get my bag. I forgot it. What's that weird thing? And yeah, it's got some weird top. It's like a poor paper bottle. Look at that top. I'm taking that bottle. It's like a 1930 to 1940 thing. Huh. Never seen that. Look. So many nice. Look at that big milk glass jar. Look at all these little bottles out of here already. Look at that green one. Look at this blue one. Lots of weird things. Wow. Well, not. Man, that fooled me. That's a Christmas bulb. You'll get fooled by these. If you're, that's a, a bigger one. Most of them are smaller, and you know that one looked like something amazing. Oh, <laughs> look at this home facial pink ice. That's old woman's cosmetics. It's messed up though. It's see, it's something. Helen, Helene. Something. Helene, Hollywood, California. Newark, New Jersey. That's real 1950 looking. The second one of these. That's another glass egg. Look at that. It's like a put, look, they're like handmade. They're like blown. It's a second one. It's for like nesting hens or something. Later. Yeah, look at that. That's a Pennsylvania crock. Look at a piece of that one. Man, getting into some older stuff. These little heart perfume bottles, I find so many of them. I'm gonna go up here to my truck and get my book bag. I'm gonna find so much stuff, I'm gonna carry it all out. And the tops have huge pockets of bottles. And here's what they are. Oh man. This will have a 1930s date, I believe, right on it. If it's any, oh man. This is awesome. 1936, I think. Look how perfect it is. Bel Air, Ohio, too. My God, this is awesome. This is awesome. I got to get this right in the bag and get this sheltered. This is awesome, folks. It's a $25 bottle with Bel Air on it. It's perfect. A little later, this popped out. Look at this. Dr. Sweat's Early American Root Beer. Food. Oh, this is perfect. Look at it. My God. They're nice bottles. Out of this rusty, loose layer. Look at that. Wow. All right. I just rinsed this under warm sink water and look at it. Little bit of rust stain here, but I can teeth pick all that off. It's all there. It's just a beautiful bottle. It's going to look new off the shelf when I'm done. That's a beauty. Huge ACL milk in the bank. Look at that. That's a milk right there. I think I can pull it out of here now. Oh, wow. What the heck? What's that have on it? Well, it has a woman holding a milk bottle. It says Healy something high energy in everyone's bottle. And I can't tell what it says, but it's, it looks like it's Broughton's. Look, it's embossed up there real nice. I'll take it because it's embossed up there. Broughton's dairy. Oh, it's all embossed on the bottom. Marietta O. Look at that, Broughton's. Lay that a little better. Look at that little ball mason with a nine on the bottom. I think it's clear. That's nice. That's real nice. It, 
glue. It's not going to be perfect if I draw, but I think it is perfect. It's clear glass and it's perfect. See, real Art Deco looking bottles. That looks like a skyscraper and a made in the 20s or 30s. Later. I think I just got an embossed medical. It looks like a nice bottle, but it's probably just a Dr. Caldwell's. That's what it is. It's like a four or five dollar bottle. But this is probably like a seven dollar one. Because it'll just clean up. See, it's a beautiful bottle. It's probably Monticello, Illinois. It's like in the condition probably this is gonna be like seven bucks. Later. Well, you can see these bottles are the best condition you could possibly ask for ever. This is just going in my collection, even though it is a common bottle, because it's just, that's the one to show in a video. Look at it. How, like, photogenic that is. My goodness, it's flawless. Look at it. Later. I'll suck it up and dig. It's horrible conditions. There's a pretty nice layer here, see? There's just bottles coming out one after another it's hard to tell what's in here see there's a little oh this is awesome lava. what do you think this bottle is it's nice i've only found one of them ever murine for the eyes uh, all embossed up 10 to 15 dollars it's probably machine made but it's nice well you can see just flawless condition that's a machine made model, bottle but that's one that's always worth 10 bucks. It's beautiful. The condition, it might even be worth a net, more than that in that condition. Um, I ended up finding five of these. The other ones are in soaking. I can only clean up so many for videos, but that's nice. All right, you can see the rain. I'm kind of sheltered down in here. That might be a beer right here. Let me dig it out, love. I'm just taking my time. It's gonna start raining, but I'll be able to dig here, so make sure you subscribe. That looks kinda good. I can't tell. No, if it's a 50s beer. I'll get back. I thought that was a real old beer, but see, there's bottles. That's the base right there. Just a little, right there's the base. Right in here. And I'm in a pocket, in like a dip on the side of a hill like a ravine that was first filled with trash the oldest stuff that's what i look for i'm down in a pocket that's why i'm calling it like a there's a vex see that's one of the ones with the triangle i'll get back yeah, look at that old ring let me wait for this man that's still got the original chrome on it that's a nice old heavy one you can see it's the most miserable conditions. I'm already wet. I spilled another bottle right on me with stinking water and he knows what in it. But I've got some bottles to clean up for this video and I haven't found them all. And I was looking for these old vitres and I think I got one, yeah. Look, there's vitre kind of turquoise on that. This will be a smoker. You know, these are from 1940 to 1950 they're mid-century oh this is just clear base all the colors veneered on the outside they're just all smokers i think they were all thrown away new in the bag so they're going up the hill right here and i'm in the layer now here's this little turquoise colored vitre just all clear on the inside all the colors veneered on the outside beautiful condition just i'm in a good spot that's a smoking smurl. It's like 1940 to 1950. And it's just 9.6 out of 10 plus condition. Just as good as you could ask for. Later. See how it can heat up. I'm not miserable anymore. Just put that one in the bag. You find one marble. There's 50% of the time there's more. Here's another Vetro. I'll go down. It's right there by that clump. Right there. It looks awesome. It looks, oh, it's like a parakeet. This is a good marble. Oh, it's friggin', I'm so muddy, we'll have to clean, oh, it's smoking. It's smoking. Well, this marble is not clear base. It's like in that 
parrot, parakeet age, a vetra, that's a vetra. That's just, look at the condition. Wet mint from the 50s. It's, that's awesome. That's a beautiful marble. It's absolutely beautiful. Been five minutes later. They're not everywhere, but there's another marble, I'm pretty sure. They're going up the hill. They're not on the base. They're about eight inches off. What is, oh, these are awesome. I see multiple colors in this. Look at this. Oh, these are old vetres, and these are awesome ones. If you collect marbles, you know what I mean. Look at this. It's like a salmon orange into a purple teal into yellow. All clear base. It's got rust staining, but that's going to clean off. Yeah. Yeah, here's that marble. Kind of a grape, a yellow, and an orange salmon color. It's an old vetro color veneered on the outside. Just as beautiful as the last one. Just amazing. Look at them. These are nice. Later. Well, there's, I think there's hundreds of these Philip Mag Milk of Magnesia bottles here laying right on the base clay. Hundreds of them. Yeah, here's both of these come out of there today. Um, both of these bottles, look at how beautiful they are. They're both different too. See that one. See the bottom. Real nice condition. And this one's different, look. And you can see it there. They're different. These are cool, huh? Thought I'd show you later. I found the layers with the marbles in it for sure. I know right where they're at. So we'll come back. It ought to get good. Here's another one. I mean, it's just pouring. I'm going to have to go. This will be the last one. I sucked it up for you guys. It's like snowing now. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Probably some kind of old vetro cat eye. It's beautiful. Later. Yeah, you can see that. That's probably some kind of vetro cat eye. You can see it's got other color in there. Several shades of white, off white. And it looks like kind of blue there. You gotta really look at it. You can see bubbles in it. Really nice condition. Pretty nice for a cat eye. Stay a few minutes longer. Look at this blue bottle. Wow. That's awesome. That's like a $15 one. Yeah, you can see these smoking bottles. The condition, you know, I'm ready where somebody backed up and must set them off in bags or something. In 1930. These are just sick. Look at that. My goodness, face. That's beautiful. I find these before, but not in that condition. Whew. I sucked it up and stayed. I got a embossed sedo. What the heck is this? Never seen this. This is like a 1920. What is this? I'm not the Jamuka Company, huh? Jamuka. That's a pretty nice board. I wonder if it's got a town name. Yep, something Alabama. Wow. That bottle's a long way from him. It's got arrows on it. With arrowheads on it. Look at that. Wow. Sorry, it's fogging up. This is a daymaker. Well, this is a like circa 1920 bottle. It's awesome. It's pretty rare. Jamoka. Um, try to find that for sale. Birmingham, Alabama. See the bottom. You know, I'd say $30 to $40 bottle. Mint condition, nice bubble in the glass. It's blown. That's nice, huh? That's a beauty. It's got arrows, look. And an arrow with an arrow head on it on the Jamoka. Try to find that. That ain't on eBay. That's a good bottle. Later. <laughs>
pretty decent. Big bubbles in it, you know, older base, just a beautiful jar for free from the ground. I'm on fire. Look at the bubbles in that glass. You know, I'd say that's like 1915. Look at all this stuff. There's a little, like, vinegar pour thing. That's nice. I'm gonna get it out. It's just pouring on me. I'm soaked. I can't take no more. Good day again. My bag, how muddy it is. I'm just, ugh. I'm filthy, but I got some good stuff and would have found double this. Man. Yeah, look at the art deck. Is, look at all the stuff on the ground. I'm hoping to find marbles. They're here. Um, good ones. But it's a lot harder to get them, but there's a lot more bottles. You can see the transition back into even this age of bottles towards the top of this layer with the better stuff. There's good marbles below it. They're Bennington. It's like five in the morning. I had to come in and get a bath to get woke up, make some coffee. I'm so sore from digging. I have to take sometimes two real hot baths to even get to where I can move from all the digging in a row. But look here, dirty dog bubby. Tell him dirty dog bubby, you had to get bathed up too. Well, Squirrel Man will get a bath in the next one. He say he's just now getting up. He's been asleep down in there. Look at him. Tell him you've been asleep back in there. What's going on here? You're getting in the bathtub. Look at him. He knows. Well, Squirrel Man will be getting a bath swimming around in his Olympic-sized bathtub swimming pool in the next upload. If you enjoyed this one, I'll get you some more digging. Later. Thank you.